Okay, in this video, all I really want to do is get our code editor that we're going to be using to write code in. And before we do that, I just want to mention that I'm going to be using Google Chrome as the main browser for the for the course. And you don't need to use Chrome if you're used to something else. It's it's doable. But I will be using the Google Chrome inspector tools to to debug along the way during the various different things that we'll be making in this course. For example, we could do something like inspect. You could right click and go to inspect and you have a console here, a JavaScript console. You have things like the layout of a page right here that you could inspect. You could see which attributes are on the HTML. So we'll be using these tools that Google Chrome provides you uh, quite often. So I just recommend that if you want to follow along perfectly that you use Google Chrome. I do believe that there are like the Firefox, Firefox browser also has inspector tools that are similar to this right here, but I'm not going to be using Firefox, so I can't really say for sure what Firefox has or what it doesn't have, but I just recommend that you follow along using Google Chrome. Okay, and with that out of the way, the code editor. So I'm going to be using Atom code editor. You can just search for Atom and, or just go to atom.io right here. And this can be the code editor we're going to use. Uh, again, similar to the browser, you don't have to use Atom if you already have some experience coding and you're used to something like Sublime or Visual Studio Code, you can go ahead and continue using that. Just another thing similar to the browser where I have browser tools that we're going to be using, I'm going to be using some Atom keyboard shortcuts to move code around, be able to delete code or duplicate code or do a bunch of things with it. I'm going to show you these keyboard shortcuts. And during the course, I will be using these keyboard shortcuts whenever I'm able to. So if you want to follow along perfect, then I recommend using Atom because I'll show you how to use these keyboard shortcuts to do, uh, to basically just help speed up your development. These keyboard shortcuts probably exist in other code editors like Sublime or, you know, whatever, but I'm not sure how you would actually do it in these other code editors. So I wouldn't be able to help you with anything like that. So. Again, I just recommend if you want to follow along perfectly to use Atom. Also, there will be a few Atom packages that I'm going to have installed that will also help us speed up our development. So if you want to install this or download it, just click download. And it's just like downloading anything else. You just wait for it to finish. You click it, you follow the instructions, and then it will be on your computer. Okay, that's going to be it for this one.